Hi, my name is Chelsea and I am the Communications Coordinator at A Greener Future. And today I'm happy to present our Lake Ontario Litter Art Program. A Greener Future is a GTA-based nonprofit focused on waste prevention and reduction. Every year we run over 100 litter cleanups along the shores of Lake Ontario and beyond. And to date, we've picked up more than 2.6 million pieces of litter. As great as it is that we're able to remove all that litter from the environment, unfortunately, a lot of this waste still ends up going to the landfill because it's too degraded to recycle. Our goal with this litter art program is to divert this waste from landfills and instead turn it into something beautiful. And we've recruited 10 local artists to help us do just that. These artists have had access to thousands of pieces of litter that a Greener Future staff and volunteers have picked up from along the shores of Lake Ontario. And over the past several months, they've been creating works of art that empower us to rethink our connection with Lake Ontario, as well as our consumption and waste habits. Now, I'd like to introduce you to some of these artists who are participating in our 2021 Litter Art Program. Enjoy! My name is Jet. I'm an autistic, queer, and mad person who has lived in Takaronto for more than a decade. My practice challenges oppressive structures and highlights the conspicuous flaws in the current system. I work with recycled materials. I use what is forgotten, forbidden, dirty. This year, I had the great opportunity to work with Greener Future on a series of photographs that take us along the shores of Lake Ontario. The series are meant to be a sarcastic visual initiator for conversations that criticizes the unsustainable practice that come with capitalism. In the words of Berta Caceres, we must shake our consciousness free from the rapacious capitalism, racism, patriarchy that would only assure our own self-destruction. Huey P. Newton reminds us that where the establishment sees individual human nature and technological progress as the engine of destruction, the Marxists look on the ecological spoliation and traces the poisonous spore back to the strongholds of reaction in capital, calls the pollution for what it is, war against nature, against people, against race itself. I'm a visual artist from Toronto, Ontario. My work revolves around art and ecology and creating site-specific and public interventions using upcycled materials, found objects, and plastics collected from our beaches. My work aligns perfectly with the Greener Future vision as I've already been doing beach cleanups prior to this project and it's always nice to have a larger community and a larger purpose um, to create my art in. Uh, what I'll be doing for this project is going through the storage locker that um, the volunteers and staff and community members have been collecting and I'm going to use the objects uh, found from our beaches to create a larger installation for my final project. Hi, my name is Neilani Cavero. I'm a young artist from Brampton, Ontario, and I attend Mayfield School of the Arts in Caledon. I've always been connected to the waters because of my father, Larry Cavero, who is a surfer who taught me the importance of respecting our lakes and oceans. Both art and nature conservation have turned into a passion for me, so I began making art pieces to raise awareness of environmental issues, um, such as a mural I made for the city of Brampton about the endangered red-side dace fish that can be found on Williams Parkway and Mississauga Road. 
I became a litter artist for a greener future to continue working with my two passions to advocate for environmental preservation and change. I'm Susie Schlanger, and this is a whole mess of cigarette butts that were collected at some of the Ontario beaches, and that's only a drop in the bucket of what was collected. I decided to use cigarette butts in my two art pieces for this litter art project. The first project is a plaster cast of a bathing suit. I'm decorating the bathing suit in this floral benign pattern using a very non-benign substance, which is of course carcinogenic and also a pollutant. I'll be covering the whole bathing suit with these cigarette butts. And I know it's gross that I'm not using gloves, but I can't use gloves and glue. And that's what I use to attach them. It's a podge and it's glue and acrylic sealant. So not only glues the florets, the cigarette butts in, but it also seals them. So it will also dry completely clear. So I will be putting a lot of layers of this stuff both underneath and on top of the cigarette butts to seal them both so that they don't fall down and so that they don't smell. And after that's all done, as you see, that's quite rigid. That's nice and rigid. And also at the end of the project, I will cover the entire bathing suit with matte varnish and then the cigarettes won't fall down and they won't smell. These are two important details that I needed to share with you. So what's going to happen here, so if you can imagine, first of all, I've used the bottom, the ends of the cigarette butts to make a piping, to make a decorative piping. And then, um, who knows, maybe I might turn into a bathing suit designer after this. Then I'm um, going to cover the whole thing with the florets. But as you see, there's white showing from the plaster bandage. So what I'll do is I'll cover all of that with tobacco and I will just paint on this glue and sprinkle tobacco on top of it. And that will be very easy. When I take it off its stand, I can just put tobacco on top of the glue. And as you see, it will make a dark brown background. So that's the beginning of this project. Now we're gonna go move over to the second project, which is faucets and what's so unusual about faucets nothing really but just imagine if you turned on the faucet in your house and out came garbage because that's what's in our lakes garbage so once again i'm using as a symbol of this garbage a perfect example of garbage cigarette butts so i've taken a water bottle and a water cup also um, ironic to use them in this context and filling them with cigarette butts so that when you turn on your faucet, what if that happened? <laughs> so there we go. Two projects using disgusting cigarette butts and stay tuned for what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Marissa Clements. I'm originally from near Ottawa, Ontario, but I currently live in Toronto. I am an artist on the side. I'm a makeup artist for film, for work. But um, this project 
really interested me because for years I've been trying to find a way to um, give back or to to contribute to an ecological purpose. And um, as soon as I saw the ad for this project, I, 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 I applied and I, I followed up and followed up because I was really excited about it. And uh, now I've collected a lot of materials, um, some recycled and some from the water directly. And I can't wait to put them all together. I have, um, I've just finished really the design part of it and now my ideas are pretty crisp and clear and I have some sketches and things that I've done um yeah I can't wait to put it all together and to present it with all the other artists work uh stay tuned My name is Laurel. I'm a Toronto-based interdisciplinary artist. I work through a variety of mediums, largely including drawing and painting, and I've also focused on sculpture and installation in the past. I have a fine arts background with a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Guelph and a Master's of Fine Arts from OCAD University. Studying at Guelph inspired me to continue working through drawing and studying at OCAD solidified my interest in sustainable art making practices. Both of these factors drew me towards this project with A Greener Future, where I knew I'd be able to merge my interest in drawing while focusing on a cause that benefits the environment. The pieces I'm working on for the Litter Art Project begin with me taking time outside to work on my own litter cleanups in my favorite places near my house, namely the ravine and by the lake. It also helps that being outdoors and near water boosts creativity, and as an artist, this is something I'm always striving for. My favorite way to create a drawing is with reference photographs, so for this particular project, I take photos where the litter originated. Back in the studio, I create highly detailed drawings on paper that hopefully speak to how we can better appreciate things we once thought was maybe trash and also more deeply connect with the surrounding environment where these items often collect. I personally think that every little bit helps when it comes to protecting the environment and hope that shows through in my drawings. My name is Britannia. Welcome to my studio. This is one of the places that I work on different crafts and art projects. Right now I'm working on the Lake Ontario Litter Art Program. Um, it's a great way for us to divert the waste that washes up on shore and it opens up a creative way to um, discuss and, and have a dialogue about our waste management issues. Over here you can see I've taken more of a thematic approach to my three canvases. I've got one about the food waste uh, industry, so I've got plastic bottles and different mesh from different packaging, some bread clips, and then also a huge problem in our water is uh, dog waste. So I've got some of my dog toys and um, other dog related items in there. The other canvas I have is more about the smoking and cigarette and vape issues that we're having. So I've got some matches and some foil from cigarette containers. I still have a lot more to add to that one, but it's well on its way to becoming a landscape. And then over here, I have my home improvement and construction canvas. I've got a respirator mask um, parts, as well as spray foam, some nails, um, different like wires and roof tiles, I'm trying to depict a landscape of a house. I know a lot of products can be recycled or reused, but they usually end up in landfill. So it's a great way to rethink how they're used and make something pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 